So here's the schematic. I got it off another YouTube's channel and uh, I didn't have the same relays, but it does work and I'll show you in the video how it worked for me. Okay, so here I had two ovens from the local junkyard. I took the, the mat, these transformers out and I just picked the one out of the two, the bigger one. And that's what I went with, with, with using. Here I took the PCB board that's inside the computer, uh, the microwave oven, and uh, the two relays you see in the center of the board, I took those off and I used them in this project. So I used the old ripsaw or hacksaw, whatever you want to call it here, and I used the old metal blade and then I cut the top winding out. I believe it's a secondary, if I'm mistaken. Here's a picture of it after I cut it out. You can see I left the red wire and the shims in there just as a protector to protect that uh, main winding, the first winding. Here's a side view. You can see the wire and the shims still there. This is right before I punched all of that out. Just take your time when you punch it out. You got to give her shit to give her out though. Here's some 8 gauge wire, about 5 feet of it and the relays and the switch and I'll show you how that all goes together it's actually pretty easy if you already have the case made for this it's about an hour to make it so I just punch, punch some copper in at the end of that wire paste it up solder it and then use the sander to sand the solder smooth and then heat shrink it here I wrapped the wire around two and a half turns made sure it was nice and equal length on the, the electrode ends and then uh, started wiring things up to the relays Got everything glued down, the wood and the relays, and then I wired everything up in a capacitor just like the schematic at the very beginning. Here, I got uh, got the lid on, got everything set up, cleaned up, and uh, just getting ready for before I make the first pack with the welder. So here's the first pack I made with the welder. Worked out great, took quite a while. And I'll explain that in a few frames here in a second. So here's halfway through when I got all the parallel strips done. I double weld everything up and I leave enough space to weld the series connections in between. I'll show you in, the, in a quick video clip here. <clears throat> so you can see here that the I do one set of welds for the series connections and that's like in between the welds that were for the parallel connections on the main strips already so the welds aren't overlapping each other and then on the side here when I did the schematic I had an issue where the battery is still connected with the capacitor the whole time so I have this disconnect so right there it would work here it wouldn't do anything so when you press the button you're allowing the battery to be connected fills the capacitor that capacitor boom now gives you the timing I used a 470 UF capacitor to work with the timing. So that's why I didn't film actually welding the battery because it took forever because I had to keep using my my hand. So when I have this PCB show up, I'll put it in and then I'll make a video slamming out a battery in 20 minutes. Cheers.